Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabuff.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. So, I know that I'm competing with the Super Bowl tonight, but I heard from a few of you that you're glad that I'm on. So, <laughs> I'm glad that I'm on too. My team, the Packers, is not playing in the Super Bowl, so I don't know, I don't really care who wins. But if you're rooting for one of the teams, I hope your team wins. I know how exciting that would be. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Connie. Kathy. Jenny. Welcome. So, I had quite an adventure last week. <laughs> um, yeah, the story just gets better and better, too. So, um, I went to Arizona, and we left on Wednesday. We were, we were going to come back Monday, but then due to the freezing cold weather and the snowstorm, well, first of all, we almost didn't get out of town. But after a couple hour delay and some de-icing on the plane, we left. And then um, flights were delayed coming back. So I decided to extend my trip to Thursday. And that all worked out fine. So that was cool. But then my husband extended his stay. He was going to stay another week and then decided to come home on Saturday. So I booked his airline ticket to fly him back into Appleton. And I went to the Appleton Airport to pick him up last night, and I'm sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. So I opened up my email, and I'm like, what time is this flight supposed to be here? And uh, when I opened up the email for the airline, it said Phoenix to Milwaukee, and I just about died. My stomach went up in my throat, and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, did I fly him into Milwaukee, which is like an hour and 45 minutes from here. And um, I thought I made like the biggest colossal mistake ever. But it turns out because it was so foggy here last night that his plane tried to land in Appleton and couldn't. So they diverted it to Milwaukee. <sighs> I was so like beside myself that I had totally messed this up. But um, I didn't. And anyways, then, so I have a little thing to tell you too. So then they kept him on the plane forever deciding what they were going to do with these people. And um, the airline finally decided to let them off the plane and give them each a $250 rental car voucher and told them to drive home. Well, when he went to the Hertz rental car um, counter to get his rental car, they charged him $315 to rent a car in Milwaukee, drive an hour and 40 minutes to Appleton, and deliver it the next day. So guess who's never, ever, ever using Hertz again? And I've heard other stories about Hertz doing price gouging like that too. So anyways, just a little heads up. I'll never use Hertz again. Um, it was ridiculous. And then I looked up. If I were to rent, so I did the same day type of thing. So if I were to rent a car in Milwaukee next Saturday night and drive it to Appleton to drop off at the airport Sunday morning, it would cost $116, not $315. It was so ridiculous. So anyways, he got home last night. He wasn't very happy and he's ready to move to Arizona. <laughs> and I said, well, good luck with that. <laughs> So anyways, hi Dee, hi Amy, welcome. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. And um, you know you can DVR the Super Bowl, right? Just saying. <laughs> hi Cheryl, welcome. Um, anyways, I have a, you guys know about my online class using the Forever Lovely Bundle. That was released in January. That has been extremely popular, and I've been getting the best comments on this online class. So thank you to everybody who has purchased it, who purchased the bundle from me and got it free, and who is giving me comments that you love it. I'm so excited to hear that. I have a new online class coming now. A couple weeks ago, I said that I was doing an online class using the Butterfly Gala in the month of February. Well, guess what? The punch is on back order. So um, we decided not to do the Butterfly Gala for our February online class. And instead, we're going to do the Wonderful Romance. And let me grab that. Wonderful Romance. Well, here, I'll show you this. Is this gorgeous stamp set and matching framelits. Let me see if I can turn that the right way. And then it's got all of these beautiful coordinating products that go with it. 
Now, that online class, I'm I'm pretty sure is I'm going to have that ready to roll and released on Friday for my um, Feature Friday video. So I'll have a card that I make with that bundle and then um, kind of introducing the bundle and all the elements of it and then I will have um, an online class available. Now, the online class is free when you order the bundle of products that I put in the post on Friday. You get my online class for free, and they have a value of $20 most of the time, sometimes $25. This one, I think, is going to be $20. And if you don't want to order the bundle from me because you already have a demonstrator or you are a demonstrator, you can still order the online class for $20. There'll be a PayPal button there for you to do that. So, um... Sharon, don't worry. The punch will be back in stock, I believe, mid-March. And Stampin' Up! did something a little different. Um, Sarah, uh, Sarah, Sarah, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Um, Sarah is our fearless leader at Stampin' Up! It's Shelly Gardner's daughter. And she came on to a um, live, did a Facebook Live for the leaders um, the other day and explained what has happened with the back ordering ordering process. Stampin' Up! usually sells about 12,000 punches when they release a new punch. That's awesome, right? Well, they not only blew through their 12,000 of that butterfly punch, but they also sold, I believe, an additional 15,000 of those punches, and that's why they're on back order. Nobody can predict that that's going to happen, and I'm super excited for my company because that means they're doing very well, right? And I want them to do well. But um, we're just going to have to deal with some of these backorder issues because there has been an overwhelming response. Douglas, Sarah Douglas, thank you, Linda. I just, I blanked it. Um, there's been an overwhelming response to some of the products that we have in the catalog, in the new Occasions Mini Catalog. So um, they will be back in stock, don't worry. But we're just going to have to wait a little bit. So we decided to change the online class, and I think that's going to work out really good. Um... I can't wait to, I, I haven't made anything with this bundle yet, so I'm excited to get started. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Heather. Sheila, welcome. Um, I wanted to let you know, once you place an order with me, you will get added to my VIP Facebook page. And that VIP, VIP Facebook page is a lot of fun. I do a lot of giveaways on there. And I also pop in and do Facebook Lives sporadically. Um, I'm trying to do that at least once a week. I just did one the other day with the Beauty Abounds. That's a really pretty butterfly stamp set. I did a Facebook Live and shared an exclusive project on that VIP group. So if you'd like to be part of my VIP group, all you need to do is place an order with me in my Stampin' Up! store. Make sure you're clicking on that like button. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps me. And also, share. You can click on the share button right now while you're watching me. Sharing is caring, don't forget. And that really helps me out too. Um, I also have an online stamp club, and that's a lot of fun. Um, what we do in that online stamp club is once a month, I come up with a technique, and I make a card, and then I make an instruction card with a little um, snippet of that technique on there. And I send you both of those when you belong to my online club. What does it mean to belong to an online club? You're going to place a minimum $25 order once a month in my store. And that, and you got to tell me. You have to say, Kelly, I want to be in your online club. I'll put you in the club. And then once you, um, you place your order each month for six months, and at the end of the six months, you get a credit of $30 to spend on anything you want because I um, am saying thank you for your consistency and your continued support. And then you get the technique card and the instruction card with the snippet on it every month. Now, um, I've shown you guys these before. I keep them in a case here, but one thing that you can do with these is you can add them to a ring. So see how thick this is? You can add them to a ring, punch a hole in them. And then you've got all these techniques. And they are very cool. I have um, I put a lot of time and effort into these to make sure that you're getting your money's worth when you join my online club. So if you are interested in that, pop me an email. I'll give you the link to all the details so you can make an informed decision. All right. Let me 
put that away. Uh, what else? I'm going to share the cards that I received. I got a ton of mail while I was gone. Um, some of it was bills. <laughs> Those aren't so much fun, right? But anyways, they're, they're a necessary evil, right? I want you to know that if you're not comfortable ordering online and you live in the United States, I have orders going in every Thursday. You can email me, you can call me, you can instant message me on Facebook. We can hook up and figure out how to um, deal with the payment. Just know that I do not finalize orders until payment is received. Credit cards are preferred. We accept MasterCard, Visa, American Express, and Discover. Um, if you are old school and you want to send me a check, I will do that, but the check needs to clear my bank before I place an order because the order is getting shipped directly to you um, when you do that. So just know that if you're not comfortable, get in touch with me. I'd be happy to place an order for you. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bernie. Sarah, thank you for the share, you guys. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention to you, I've had some people that are sharing this Facebook Live to my personal Facebook page or to my VIP Facebook page. And um, what you need to do is share it to your own page. You can share it to your page or share it to a group that you belong to, but please don't share it to my personal page or my VIP page because I have a schedule where I will share it once I've got my blog post loaded up. And you want to be sharing these to your own page. And I have a ton of people who have been taking care of or taking advantage of our fabulous discount shopper kit. I have so many new discount shoppers on my team. I'm super, super excited about that. And um, if you would like to take advantage of that, if you go to my blog, and it's www.astampabove.com, just do a search for that, you'll find it. In the right-hand column, as you scroll down the screen, you're going to see a $99 kit button. And when you, <laughs> hang on, Linda, when you, um, when you click on that, it's going to give you all the information about the discount shopper kit. So Linda just said, hey, um, old school, that's age discrimination. It is. It is. <laughs> I can't get any, I can't get around it, right? Um, anyways, the discount shopper kit, you spend $99 and you get to choose $175 in product. If you have an order going in around $100, this is a no-brainer. Um, hold on to my crown. Ooh, it's kind of falling off, isn't it? Um, you get to choose whatever you want, $175 worth of product, plus you get a paper pumpkin kit. That's another $20 value added onto there. There's no shipping on the Discount Shopper kit either. And you get to go online. You get to pick out what you want, anything you want. You can get whatever you want. And um, people ask me, well, can I get a big shot? Yeah, you can get anything you want. Um, there's also a video that shows you exactly how to order the discount shopper kit that's in that $99 kit button on my blog. And um, you can join my team. So I would love to have you. We have a lot of fun. I just had a team meeting today. Oh, that reminds me. Hang tight. I have got to grab the swap cards from today because they were absolutely gorgeous. So we have a swap every, um, I have a meeting once a month. You can attend in person or I also broadcast it on a Facebook Live, our private team page, so that everybody can attend. When you watch it live from wherever you are, <laughs> Steve, my husband says, I miss Arizona. I know you do, Steve. And I know you're moving there. Um, when you attend the meeting, during the live broadcast, you get added into the door prize drawing. So that's pretty cool. And when you win, I mail your door prize to you. But I wanted to show you some of these swap cards. You also get to participate in the swaps as part of my team. Whether you're long distance or local, you can attend locally. Um, you can mail them here and we will swap them out and I pay the postage to mail them back to you. So that's pretty cool. And here's another one. So our theme for this month was masculine cards. And aren't these just spectacular? This is Lisa Nealens. And this was Vanessa Schultz's swap card. And then this one, I've got to get them out of these envelopes so that you can see them good. This one, isn't this cool? This is that catch of the day. This is from Irene Cutts absolutely gorgeous 
And then we've got another car one here. This is by Kathy Miller. I love sharing these with you guys. You can get just the best ideas from swaps, right? Yeah, Sharon, I love the car set too. I'm actually, I have a car tonight. If we have time, we're going to make it. So here we go. Isn't this cool? I love the set because that's a Mustang. And they're a little special to me. <laughs> my first car, if you missed any of my Facebook Lives where I've talked about it, my first car was a 1964 and a half Mustang. And I absolutely adored it. Here is my swap card. And I've actually done a video on this one and shown you guys this. So that's my card. And then... We've got, oh, did I tell, yeah, I told you that was Kathy Miller's card. This is Patty Skiba's card. And look at this. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this probably maybe next week. But is this not spectacular? This is that horse, I think it's called One Wild Ride, the horse stamp set. Super, super cool. Yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful card. So, um... I will probably be sharing a few of these, show you how to make them, because um, that's easy for me, and I know that you guys like the details, right? Oh, somebody just said 64 and a half Mustangs were awesome. Yes, they were. Mine was Candy Apple Red. It came from Pasadena, California, and I loved it. Okay, let me get myself online here so that I can see what is going on with comments. I can see them on my phone, but I like them to be bigger. Here we go. So I got to find my Facebook Live. What did Steve say, Sharon? You're saying wow to him. What did he say? <laughs> Share the swap cards on my blog, please. Um, I don't tend to do that, but maybe I can make an exception for that. So we'll see, Terry. That's a nice, that's a good request. Okay, here we go. I am now live on my own screen. And, oh, and Francis had a 67 Mustang. Those were cool too, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, one thing I want to address, and I did put this on my Facebook page. So when you, when you um, create an online account, I don't know if this button is still in there or not, but there's a, you can say that you don't want any contact. And what people think that means is that Stampin' Up! isn't going to send you a whole bunch of um, emails, but that's not what it means. When you select that you don't want any contact, that means that I can't know who you are. So when you place, yes, my phone is plugged in, Dolores, thank you. When you place an order, it doesn't come to me saying that, Melissa Sharman placed an order and give me your address so I can send you a thank you card. It comes in as no contact. I don't know who you are. Now, I can go to the to the tracking number and see where it's being delivered, but not the address, just the city. I got a no contact order this week from somebody in Marshall, Texas. And if that happens to be you, you need to contact me. And Steve says, Mustang girls are mean. <laughs> Um, please contact me if you placed an order this last week and you're from Marshall, Texas, because we need to get your account changed so that I know who you are so I can send you a handmade card and thank you properly, right? <laughs> so um, I hope whoever you are, you're on there. So back to the fact that I have so many new discount shoppers and members on my team this week, I just wanted to remind all of you, you are now considered a demonstrator and you are privy to demonstrator information. We don't have a lot of secrets, but I mean, there's a few. And please remember that this is my customer Facebook page and we do not do any type of demo talk on this particular Facebook page. We save that for our team page. So I just want to kind of send out a friendly reminder because sometimes it gets a little confusing. Um, the team page is um, a stamp above creative crew or creative group or something like that. So um, please, no demonstrator chit chat here. All right, let's get to the winners. How about that? Um, so I was gone last week. Did you guys enjoy the Facebook Live Not Live? I thought the projects were pretty cool. I love that card kit that I showed you. It was so easy to make. Um, yeah, Linda. <laughs> I got a no contact order. Um, yeah, it does sound like I'm in the middle of a legal battle, but I'm not. Um, 
And then the home frame. What did I do with my home frame? That was really fun to make. And I have heard from several people that they are making them and getting requests for the, from their family for these. So that's super cool, right? Yeah, people love handmade gifts. And one that you can switch out to go with your um, um, the seasons and the holidays is just fantastic, right? And if you guys didn't see this yet, this was, I was a guest tutorial author on Split Coast Stampers um, on the 23rd of January. And this is the project that I shared and made for them. It's also on my blog. So thanks, Sharon. You loved the Facebook Live, not live. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I figured out how to do that so that I can stay with you guys on Sunday nights when I'm not home. And that poses another question or situation. So I'm leaving Thursday night to go to Michigan for some training. And um, we are going to be coming home on Sunday, but I don't know what time I'll be home. So I need to figure out if I'm, I'm thinking that I will be live next Sunday night, which is February 10th. Um, but if I'm not, I will again do a Facebook Live not live for you guys. So I just want to let you know that. I'm hoping to be home because it's so much more fun live, right? I love live <laughs> um, because you can see me mess up and I can't fix it with an edit. Yeah. So winners. I'm doing two sets of prizes because I was gone. So I've got two weeks of prizes to share with you. And the first prize that I'm sharing here is some Botanical Garden Jewel embellishments. I found these, and I never used them. They were from um, a mini catalog that was like two times ago. But the winner of those are Jackie Blursch. You won these for your comments on, let's see, where's my little calendar? I've got my little candler, calendar here. On the 20th of January. I didn't do any drawings last week because I was gone, right? So this is from the 20th. And then we have Lois Billadoo of Ringle, Georgia. And you won some of these adorable frosted flower embellishments. These are so fun. And you can color these clear ones with the Stampin' Blend markers. So Lois won that for sharing. Oh, and I forgot to say Jackie. I do not have your address, and I don't know where you're from, so if you could please um, instant message me and let me know your address and that you, um, so I can mail this out to you. Then, for orders for that week, we've got, the winner is Sheila Crutchfield from Clean Texas, and you are winning this cute beach happy stamp set. Oh my gosh, I haven't made anything with this set yet, but I'm excited to use it because I think it's going to be super, super fun for whoops, summer. Hi, Rose. Hi, Lisa. Okay, so that was for January 20th, and now we're going to do the prizes from the 27th, which was the Facebook Live Not Live. Thank you guys so much for um, clicking the likes and sharing my video when I'm not even live. Um that just really means a lot to me. So I just want to thank you for that. Um, first of all, we've got our winner for commenting on last week's Facebook Live, not live, is Cindy Kittner of Newport, Pennsylvania. And Cindy is going to get some of these Happiness Blooms enamel dots. These are super, super fun to use. And then for, or for sharing... We've got the Floral Romance Seals. These are also super cool. This goes with the Floral Romance bundle of product here. So these are cool. And the winner of that is Janet Wright of Del Mar, New York. So thank you, Janet, for your share. And then for orders last week, we've got Dolores Wilkenheiser from Strasburg, North Dakota. You are winning this exclusive um, this is a host-only stamp set called Just Because. Super, super cute images. Just in time for spring because, like, we're in February already, right? So it's going to be spring. <laughs> Trust me. It's coming. The groundhog out in Pennsylvania said it's coming early, too. So I am holding him to that, right? <laughs> okay. Um, I have some cards to show you. I got mail. And... 
I don't know why I received cards from two demonstrator friends and I think they're swap cards, but I'm not really sure why I'm getting them. <laughs> like, I don't know why they're sending them to me. So I'll figure that out later, but isn't this cute? This is just the cutest little card. Love the designer paper over here. And these are those little bitty flower punches that are in the occasions mini catalog. So super, super cute. That was from my friend, Joyce Farrakko. And then I had another one here. Oh, from Mary Ellen Byler. Oh my gosh, Mary Ellen is the sweetest person. She is Amish and she is one of our top demonstrators. And she's from um, Ohio and she made this gorgeous card and sent it to me. And again, it must be some, it must be part of a swap because I'm not quite sure why I'm getting cards from these two. But I love them <laughs> and I will find out. Next, we've got Elaine Reback, and Elaine sent me this pretty card. Isn't that just fun and springy? It just makes me feel like summer. And this was a thank you for the heart epoxy droplets. Elaine was one of our winners recently. And then I have a card here from Kay Ackers. Look at how pretty this is. This is the free um, Butterfly Botanical Designer Series paper. And Mercy, she is Amish. She is Amish. Mary Ellen actually goes to the library to place her orders because she doesn't have internet, computer, or phone, or anything. So she is um, uh, an Amish um, woman. So anyways, back to our card here. Isn't that pretty? This botanical paper is just gorgeous. And Kay wrote me a really nice note saying that she's learned a lot from me and she really appreciates everything that I share. And she got the floral romance seals and loves them. So she was one of our winners in the last go around. And then I got this cute Valentine card from Elaine Rebeck. Elaine is one of my customers from Fond du Lac. I've known Elaine for a very long time. Thank you so much, you guys, for all these pretty cards. I love them. And they were a nice addition to the bills that were in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that we are ready to start um, stamping. And make sure you click on that share button if you came in late. I really appreciate you sharing my, um, my video. If you're watching later on YouTube, you can also click the share. And you can click that little bell. Give me a thumbs up. All of that stuff is really appreciated. And I think I am going to get, I'm going to get myself set up here. So, oh, we are using, let me get this unloaded first and then I'll turn my camera around. We are going to be using this birthday cheer stamp set. Oh, it's so fun. Um, and the framelits that come with it, I can't wait to show you those because they're super fun too. And I've got a couple different cards that I'm going to share with you using this particular bundle. So I'm just going to get all my stuff out here and then I'll flip you around and I'll show you the beautiful paper. You're going to love it. All right. Oh, let me set this over here. Okay. Oh, thank you, Gail, so much. Yeah, Cindy says she hopes spring is on the way and they had a pipe burst. I'm so sorry. I know what a pain that is. <laughs> Marcia said cards for me and bills for Steve. Well, it doesn't quite work that way. It's kind of funny. Um, Steve pays some of our bills and I pay some of our bills. So I get the electric bill with the water and the cable bill and the phone bill. And that works out really good because he likes to complain about those a lot. And so I just pay him. Um, and he pays the gas bill and the mortgage and the car insurance. So, and I think that's kind of all there is. And then remember I bought a summer home. I pay that. <laughs> My camper. I, yeah, don't think it's too fancy, but it's pretty nice. I like it. All right. I'm going to flip this phone around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes until I get the setup here and in place. If we get disconnected by accident, just pop back on my page. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. This is really, oh, and I'll turn my mirroring off on my phone. So let me do that. How do I do that? Right here. 
Facebook Live is always very interesting, you guys. So, yeah, you never know what's going to happen here. I'll get my lights in here a little bit better. Okay, and I think that looks good. All right, so check out this delicious paper. This is so, so pretty. It's called How Sweet It Is Designer Series Paper. And I don't have it put on my little um, sampler sheets yet. But I'm going to just take it out of here and show it to you. We've got this rainbow and then candy cupcakes. Then we've got the purples and beautiful coastal cabana stripes. And here's some um, polka dots and coastal cabana. Isn't this just fun? It is just fun. I love it, love it, love it. You get two sheets of each in 12 by 12. And then we have gummy bears. Can you see the gummy bears? Those are pretty cool. And some more pretty stripes. Then we, oh, this is the purple. I already showed that to you. And the rainbow I showed to you. But look at the gumball machines. Aren't these fun? Do you guys remember back when we had a gumball stamp set? That was really fun. And then we have some more pretty stripes. And some candy um, bowls, dishes, containers. I don't know what to call them. I'll think of it after I'm done telling you about it. And then some little candy. So super, super cute paper in this pack. I was excited because this was the first time I used it, getting ready. I had like a super busy weekend, you guys. I had a, I, I didn't get home until like, I don't know, 11 o'clock Thursday night. Friday, I had to get ready for my card buffet. I had a card buffet Friday night and Saturday morning, and then a team meeting today at noon, and now Facebook Live tonight. And when I get done with the Facebook Live tonight, I have to do my um, color fusers, color challenge design. I have to design something using five different colors for my blog hop tomorrow. So make sure you check that out. Um, the blog hops are really fun. But yeah, so I'm going to have a late night. And I said, oh, sleep is overrated anyways, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's kind of the way I feel. Okay, I am going to stick with... The color scheme that I have going on with this How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. And we are going to make just the cutest, just the cutest card. And here we go. So, I want to show you these dies first. The setup dies that is part of this bundle is called Detail Birthday Edgelets. And if I would have had more time, I would have done what you guys have seen me do before where I take and die cut everything so you can see everything that's die cut. But the dies come with these presents and then these cupcakes. And aren't these just adorable? Yeah, they are super, super cute. So we're gonna be using these. And then this is the matching step set called Birthday Cheer. I hope there's not a glare on there from my lights because it's. I always hate when I have things glaring at you guys. It, it, it almost seems angry. <laughs> and we don't want any angry stamping. We're, we only do happy stamping here in Menasha. So um, I am going to... Oh, and by the way, when I get done with this Facebook Live, I will post all the dimensions for these cards and then I have to let you guys know that I've been trying to post on Mondays on my blog, the projects, and then, of course, the Facebook Live video goes on there, too, with all the dimensions and ingredients and shopping lists. I'm not going to be able to do that tomorrow because when I get done here, I have to create some cards for a blog hop. So I will post it on Tuesday, but I will put the dimensions in the description on the Facebook, above this Facebook Live video when I'm done. So just so you know, you can come back to the page. You have to refresh it. Come back to it after we're finished and um, give me a little bit of time and I will have all of the dimensions. So this is a piece of Coastal Cabana. It's four and a quarter by 11 inches and I've scored it at five and a half. This is gonna be our card base. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. I've got a piece of the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. This is four by five and a quarter also. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. And then 
after I cut two pieces of this the size, you get a couple of these left over. So this is three quarters by four, and I like to use these on the inside, right? Because why not? You're just going to put them back in the pack because we save things like that. We're paper hoarders. <laughs> and you're going to put them back in the paper pack, and you're never going to use them. So I like to use them on the insides of my cards. I'm going to bring in one of my paper piercing mats here because that's what I like to stamp on. And, oh, I know what I needed. I need a piece of paper because I might do something cool with the envelopes. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my greeting. And I am going to use Coastal Cabana ink for that. And then you guys know, if you follow me, that I am a font girl and I absolutely love the fonts on these words. They are just spectacular. So this is one of my favorites and I'm just going to stamp this on my white scrap with the Coastal Gabbana ink. And isn't that just cute? It's just stinking adorable. And then I brought in my Stitched Shapes Framelits. You get ovals, circles, and squares in the pack in four different sizes. And die cut this in the big shot. And then, of course, through the magic of TV, I already made that happen. <laughs> so we got that going on. Then we're going to take, and we're going to do all of our stamping right away. And on the inside of our card... On the front, I've got time for a spectacular celebration, and on the inside, I'm going to do for your birthday. And I'm also going to use this little confetti with the Highland Heather ink because that's what matches this paper. And I'm just gonna kind of stamp this here and here just to give it a little oomph. Every inside of a card deserves some oomph. I always feel that way. Um, I had somebody tell me a cute little, oh, apothecaries. Thank you, Sharon. That's what those little candy dishes are called. Um, I had somebody tell me um, some little quick uh, rhyming thing um, about the inside. But I always say, when you open the card, the party should not end there. So don't leave your cards boring on the inside. You have the ability to make them spectacular. So make sure you're doing that. Okay, so that's what I've done for the inside and it just really dresses it up, right? I should have my ribbon on my table here so I don't get too low. I tend to pull this all back closer to me and then you guys can't see what's going on. So I hope I don't do that because it's annoying. It's annoying for me and it's really annoying for you. And that is the last thing I want to do is annoy you, especially when you're giving up your Super Bowl for me, right? <laughs> okay, this card is ready to roll. And isn't that just pretty? The colors are pretty, they're vivid, they're beautiful. Let me get this closed up. And I'm going to get this closed up so I don't dip my card in it. I'm going to bring in my chamois and clean off these stamps because I think I use them on the next card and I don't want to mix mix the colors in my ink pad, right? All right. So now I'm going to bring in these adorable little cupcakes and the designer series paper. So let me move some of this out of the way because we're bringing in the big guy. No, not Steve, my big shot. <laughs> Steve has to stay in the living room or the kitchen when I'm doing all this. <laughs> it's kind of a rule here. Okay, we are going to take the cupcakes and we're going to put them up here at the top of this pretty designer series paper. And I am going to run it through the big shot. Well, you know what? Let me tell you a little tip about the Big Shot. So while I can run it through here and it might be perfectly fine, you're always going to get a better cut with a long die like this if you run it through on the side, this side or this side, because the, the wheels or the rollers in a Big Shot are right here and there's a little bit more pressure. So with something that is as detailed as this, I like to run it through this way versus this way. So there's your first really great tip of the night. And now you're saying, oh, this was totally worth missing the Super Bowl for. <laughs> right? Of course. <clears throat> okay. 
Now, I always like to kind of look at the back of my dies to make sure that everything has cut all the way and it looks like it has. One thing I want you to watch for is that little heart that is on the top of one of the cupcakes. We're going to use this, so don't lose it. I'm going to set it aside. Oh, I just lost it. And I'm okay, there it is. Holy cow, it's jumping all over the place. I want it to be purple because otherwise I won't see the other side. Okay. Just third world problems here, right? <laughs> oh, just kidding. <clears throat> okay, let me move this out of the way now. I wanted you to see how very, very nicely this die works because it really cuts out the images nicely. And if you don't have one of these die brushes, I sell them and I would love to sell one to you. <laughs> you definitely want one of these. Um, ever since we got this die brush, I will use all these very intricate dies that I used to have to sit and pick out and poke out and ugh, just like, <laughs> It just sucks the joy out of your life when you have to do that. Look at how cute that is, right? And look at how simple it was to get that out with the Big Shot die brush. So if you don't have one of these, I really recommend it. You have to have one. You'll use all these delicate, intricate dies more often. Okay, look at how cute this is. Are you guys like squealing at home going, oh my gosh, how cute is that? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am going to glue this down and this makes card making super, super simple because there's not a lot that you have to do when you have such a spectacular die like this. Now I could get out my sponge and my silicone mat, but I'm just going to put some glue on each one of these because I'm lazy. I'm kind of a lazy stamper and I know you guys know that, I've told you that before. Isn't that just adorable. I know. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this ribbon is so very pretty. It's called our Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green ribbon, and it's reversible. So one side is Coastal Cabana, the other side is Granny Apple Green, and isn't that pretty? I love this. I'm going to just put this around here, and it's satin, so it's just really, really soft. It ties nice bows. It ties great knots. I'm going to bring that over here way to the side. Way to the side. Yeah, good English, Kelly. Um, way over on the side here, and I'm going to tie a knot. And I should have left a little extra there because I don't, I'm having a hard time here. Here we go. There we go. Okay. I want the Coastal Cabana side to be here and the Granny Apple Green side on these tails to be up. So I am just going to manipulate my ribbon in my knot so that it does that. You see how I did? I just turned it around. Okay, and then I'm going to clip this pretty darn short. I need to clean my scissors. I am going to this um, training thing in Michigan this weekend, and there's going to be a guy there that will sharpen our scissors, and I'm taking my big babies with me to get them sharpened. So how cute is that, right? We're not done yet. Oh, not by a long shot. So we are going to take this greeting, and hang on, i got to get some dimensionals out. I thought I had some on the table here, but they're all baby ones. Oh, look, it's a brand new sheet. Mm, that's always fun, right? I like opening up the brand new ones. I'm going to put my dimensional at the top and the bottom here so that my ribbon goes through the middle. I don't like it when my dimensionals stick on my ribbon because it doesn't, you know, it kind of moves around and I don't know. It's just a thing. I have a thing with it. I got a lot of things. I am going to, first of all, I'm going to slide this over a little bit more because I want this to be in the middle of my card. Oh, I got a hair in there. Now, what about that heart? Remember that heart that came out of this cupcake? I've got it right here, and I'm going to just add a little dot of glue, and then I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool, and the end that has the putty on it is going to be perfect. 
I'm placing this little heart. Now, isn't that cute? It's those little things that make your projects really spectacular. Now, I just thought of something else as we're sitting here that I can maybe do. Oh, maybe not. Hang on. I thought of something really cute. And here it is. Oh, yes, indeed. Glittered enamel dots. I just thought of this. Why not add some of these? So I'm going to grab, whoops, grab one of the Granny Apple Green ones. And how about one of the lovely lipstick? How cute is that? What do you guys think? I think that was a great idea. These are so pretty. Can you see the glitter in them? They're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And they're called Glitter Enamel Dots. Did you know that when you go to my Stampin' Up! store that you can type in the search box the name of something? Like you can just type in Enamel Dots and anything we have with the word enamel in it will come up so you can see the products. It just makes it so easy to shop. Okay. So thank you guys so much. Thanks, Annette. And that says, how cute is that? I know. And how easy was it? Super, super easy. Now, I think I want to do a little something, something to my envelope. So I like to do, sometimes I like to do stuff to the flaps. So I folded a piece of um, printer paper and I just put my envelope flap right there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with the confetti and I'm going to stamp up my flap of my envelope because I can and why wouldn't you? When somebody goes to their mailbox or when you hand this to someone, there's already going to be a smile just because this is so stinking cute and they haven't even opened the card yet. And that's the reaction that I love the most making people happy and there we go look at how cute that is got a cute envelope and a super cute card so do you guys want to see another one with this bundle I hope you do because that's what I have planned I just thought I'd make it sound like you had an option <laughs> but you don't <laughs> I'm gonna show you another card with this bundle of products yeah, Terry says she thinks all the sets with the dyes should never retire. Wouldn't that be per a perfect little world, right? All right, let me clean this off. And then you're going to love this one because it is spectacular. So this uses Granny Apple Green, four and a quarter by 11, and I've got it scored at five and a half. And then we're going to be using some of the lovely lipstick foil sheets. I'll talk about those in a second. We've got Whisper White 4 by 5 and a quarter. And what else do I have here? I have a scrap of Whisper White. Oh, did I forget to put the black in here? I might have. Hang on. Oh, no, I didn't. Um... A piece of the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. We're going to use the rainbow side. This is four by five and a quarter. Okay, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to stamp our greeting. And I am going to use the same stamp set. It's called Birthday Cheer. And we're going to use black ink. And we're going to use, I keep saying, and we're going to use, and we're going to use. i got to stop doing that. Hooray, yippee, and cheers for you. Memento Black Ink. I'm going to stamp that right in the middle here. Yay! It turned out great. Then we're going to die cut it with one of the circles from the Stitch Shape Circles framelits. So, and of course, um, through the magic of TV, I've already done that. You know that I did. <laughs> right? I knew you knew it. And then we are going to die cut from the foil a scallop from the cir the layering circles to go behind this layer. And of course, you know that through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Next, I am going to, where'd my friend let go? We're gonna do the presents this time. Oh, let me get that closed up. 
So here's the presents. And you want to take this and you're going to put it on a piece of the Lovely Lipstick Foil. Now I said I'd talk about this a little bit. The Lovely Lipstick Foil paper comes also with Grapefruit Grove. And so you've got both colors here. You get four sheets of each, 12 by 12, and this is free with your $50 order. So every time your order hits $50, you can get this whole pack of this foil sheets. It's called Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick. This is one of our celebration offerings. And can I just say, yum, yum, yum. It is amazing. We're gonna use the um, Grapefruit Grove on a different card. So make sure you stick with me here. You're gonna love it. Now, I would cut this off. I would cut this off and run it through my Big Shot so that it's you know going this way versus this way. And of course, through the magic of TV, I have already done that. And isn't this just adorable? Yeah. All right, you guys. It's time for a beverage break. What are you drinking tonight? Oh, I've still got Pepsi. I haven't decided to jump into that diet thing, but I was thinking I was going to start my diet this week, tomorrow, but it's not looking good. <laughs> I'm super, super busy. I know, you get every excuse in the book, right? Okay, we're going to glue this to our lovely lipstick scallop. And there's just a little bit that peeks out the edges. I love that look. Isn't that cool? And again, I love the font on here. Then we're going to take this. Are you ready for this? This is so, so cool. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my presents. And we're going to tuck that right down on the bottom of this designer series paper layer. Just like that. Look at how pretty it is. What do you guys think? Yeah. I love it. Then, where'd my dimensionals go? Oh, here they are. We're going to take some dimensionals and put it on the back of this layer. I have another card to show you that I made where I added black as kind of just a little mat sticking out. So I'll get your opinion which one you like better. So here comes my hooray yippee and cheers for you. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this ribbon if I can find the end of it. And I am going to tie it in a knot. And this time I want the granny apple green to be the prevalent color that shows. And I am decided to cut it off straight. It's just kind of a different look. Ugh, these scissors are so dirty and need to be sharpened. This weekend, you're going to get your butt trimmed. <laughs> okay. Um, mini glue dots. Here they are. We're going to do this. I love that this ribbon matches all this paper, too. So... I had somebody ask me the other day, like, where do you, how do you know what colors to put together? So there's a bunch of different um, tools for that, but I thought I'd make you aware of this. This is a color coach, and we used to sell this, and now you can get it from me free. Now hang tight before you get too excited. You go to my blog, and you print it out, and you cut it up. Um, my friend, and I think Kathy Miller made this one, she laminated each page and then took a punch and punched a hole in it and put the card stock. So this is Lemon Lime Twist. This is Tranquil Tide. Okay. And um, it has all kinds of ideas like what goes good with each one of these colors. You can print this out right from my blog. And I wanted to tell you the way that I choose my colors is on the back of our designer series paper, it tells you what the colors are in all of these papers. So we have Coastal Cabana, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo, Pineapple Punch, and Whisper White as colors in this whole pack. So that's how I pick out what I'm going to use. So for my card base on this one, I chose the Granny Apple Green. It's part of the color selection. And I'm going to add this to my front here. Ugh. Hang on. There we go. And 
And then for the inside of the card, did you guys see my white layer? Because I'm not seeing my white layer here. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's old. Um, we're going to take the greeting we put on the front of our other card and use this on the inside. I'm just going to put that right here. And then I decided I wanted to do something a little fancier on the inside of this one. I'm going to put this present down here. Isn't that cute? And yep, there it is. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of coloring with my Stampin' Blends. And this is just kind of a neat way, again, to make that party happen on the inside of your card. I've got the Dark Pineapple Punch, and I'm just going to use that to do a little bit of shading on the edges here. Now, one thing I want to make you guys aware of, because I did this today, I colored in the bow first, which is a much darker color than the actual present. You should always color the lighter stuff in first because while I didn't have it happen, I was really concerned that the pink that I colored the bow was going to bleed into my yellow. So like if I had this colored pink already, you could have some problems. So learn from my mistakes. And like I said, everything worked out okay. And see how that shading is in there? That just makes you look like an incredible artist. So I love that. And then I think I'm going to use my smaller end. This is Lovely Lipstick. So before I use Light and Dark Pineapple Punch. And again, because it matches the paper. That's one of the colors in the Designer Series paper. And now I'm using the Dark Lovely Lipstick. Oh, I'm a little kind of jittery tonight. Isn't that weird? Probably too much caffeine today. I've been running on high since I got home Thursday. <laughs> As you can well imagine, I had such a load um, of things that I needed to get done. And I was supposed to be home last Monday, remember? So I wasn't too worried about any of it until I didn't get home till late Thursday night. And then you have yourselves a little problem. Okay, there's the pink. And then I'm going to bring in the uh, dark granny apple green. And I'm going to color in this tag. And you don't have to worry about being neat with the heart that's on here because I'm going to show you something really cool. All right, so the heart that is on the cupcakes fits into the tag here. So I have a lovely lipstick foil heart. Look at, I didn't lose it. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, I'm going to lose that. I know I'm going to lose it. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here and stick this down. I think I need to, ooh, that might be too much. Oh, darn it. I hate it when that happens. Let me get some of it off. I don't want it squishing all over. Okay, I think that was successful. And then I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool here so I can hold on to it and put it in place. Oops. Isn't that cute? That heart from the cupcake right here fits onto the tag of the present. I know, you're welcome. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, this is the inside of our card. Remember, when you are coloring with Stampin' Blends, they will bleed through the back. So you always make sure that you're not coloring on your card base if it's white, but you're using a separate layer to do that so that nobody has to see all that in the back, right? We're gonna add this. And then you can decorate up an envelope. You guys saw what I did with the last one. I'm, I'm not gonna do that again here because we have, we have things we have to get done. <laughs> We've got things. Okay, there's the next card. Oh, I'm gonna leave that lay here for a minute while I clean up my mess. Oh, and everybody's Mike's Hard Lemonade. Water, 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 water. Just, oh, water makes me, I know, I've said it before. I know some people love water, bless your heart, but it sucks the joy right out of my life. I hate it. Like, I hate it. And then everybody tells me you can get flavored water. I hate that too. And um, you can get 
um, the water with the sparkling water. Hate that. You know what I? You know what I like? I like Pepsi. That's what I like. But Pepsi makes you fat. That's what it does. So I can't drink that for much longer. <laughs> Oh, Vanessa has a summer shandy lining kugel. Good for you, girlfriend. Okay, let me get all this stuff out of the way. Because you're going to die when you see this next card. No, I'm just kidding. There will be no dying in the creations tonight. But I know you're going to love it. All right. Let's put away next. This one is killer. So, I am bringing in the big guns, you guys. Yeah. Beauty Abounds stamp set. Butterfly Beauty Thinlets. We've got Memento Black Ink and Grapefruit Grove. Now, let me show you these. If you do not have these or have not seen these yet, can we say holy Wow, this is crazy. These butterflies are so beautiful. And then you get all these little butterflies and some little swirly deals. And we're not done yet. Are you ready for this? Oh, well, that was kind of anticlimactic. So hang on, because my dye is in here. This goes on here. Yeah. So why would they give you two sets of these? They look a little bit different. One's really thick. For your background and then this is your overlay and they match perfectly and again we've got some little leaf spriggy things and more little tiny butterflies and this is so so gorgeous um this is called butterfly beauty thinlets and i'm going to show you the most amazing card hang on to your hat <laughs> beauty abound stamp set here we are going to use a card base of Grapefruit Grove. That's eight and a half by five and a quarter. Five and a half, I'm sorry, eight and a half by five and a half. Then I've got a piece of basic black, and this is four by five and a quarter. A piece of Whisper White that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. We've got a scrap of basic black and the Grapefruit Grove foil sheets. This is part of that pack that you get for free during celebration. Half of them are lovely lipstick. Half of them are this grapefruit grove. Then I've got a scrap that's a half inch wide of whisper white and an envelope. We are going to decorate an envelope. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to bring in my big shot. So let me move this stuff out of the way here. I want you to see how fabulous these dyes are because, like I said, if I would have looked at a dye like this before Big Shot Dye Brush, I went, oh, heck no. Yeah, only probably not heck. <laughs> it would have been like, I'm um, absolutely not. Are you kidding me? Basic black. Whoops, nope. We're not doing basic black. We're doing um, the thinner one. So the one that's going to be in the front, we are using the Grapefruit Grove foil sheet. And we're going to put this in here. Ooh, do I think I see? Oh, yep. Let's get, you have to make sure that all the little pieces are poked out so that this will die cut nicely, just like any other die. I'm just looking at it. Yep. Okay. I just missed those two little tiny ones. We're going to put this on here. Make sure that your butterflies are all on. The paper and we're gonna run it through oh my gosh in the screen when I'm watching on my laptop the colors that this um, that this particular foil paper makes in the camera are crazy but just know that it's a peachy color and it does do this iridescent thing it's really cool Okay, so I ran it through and back. This is very detailed, and I now want to look at the back to make sure that everything is die cut, and it looks really, really good. So we did it. Now, the other thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the thicker one, which is right here, and you're gonna run this through on the black scrap and I've already done it, so I'll show it to you in a minute. Yeah, the magic of TV again. Don't you love all that magic? Um, let's get this out of the way. And 
here comes our Big Shot die brush. Now, I always recommend that you leave the die on your paper because if you've got that metal there, you can be more aggressive with your die brush than if you take it off and all you have is the paper to do this to. So leave the die right in place. And get this, all the bits and pieces that you can out of there. Okay. Done. Pops right off of there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so incredibly beautiful. Look at, look at how pretty that is. And I got a couple little pieces that didn't come out, so I'm just going to get those out of there. That one's kind of hanging on there. Here, here's another one. Oops, and here we go. Boom, boom. This little one. Could you imagine if you had to poke all of these out? That's what we used to have to do. Just made me crazy. Okay. Oops, let me put this back in here. So this is a pumpkin paper pumpkin box. People ask me why I turn it inside out. Why did I turn the box inside out? Because um, I have a whole bunch of paper pumpkin boxes and I didn't want to my die, die cut brush to get lost. So I know this is my big shot die brush in the one that's turned inside out. Now, because I'm a paper hoarder, I am going to save this piece because you never know what I might need to die cut out of that or punch out of some of these bigger areas, right? Because we're paper hoarders. <laughs> it's what we do. Okay, let's bring things back in here now. We're going to do a little bit of stamping. And do I have... Oh, yeah. No, I need a white layer for the inside here. Hang on. I keep a bunch of four by five and a quarter Whisper White in my file with my, you know, my whole pack of Whisper White because this is the size that I use most often. It's just kind of handy and helpful that I can just grab one instead of, okay, now I have to cut up paper again. Um, I, go, I go through a lot of those, so I always have them on hand. Ah, all right. I don't know what my husband made for supper. I didn't get to eat, but it smells delicious. And my stomach is growling. I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> what did you guys have for supper tonight? <laughs> Something delicious? I am using Grapefruit Grove ink and these cute bubbles. These are just so adorable. I love, love, love this. And then there's some little bubbles. Here comes the little bubbles. I'm just going to come in and do a few of these. I'm just kind of making a little collage here. Filling everything in. Let's do maybe another one right there. And then we've got these, I don't know what they are, sprinkles? That's what I'm calling them, sprinkles. Looks like somebody took a paintbrush and went splat. And they are very cool and unique. It's just like a really different look. And I'm just kind of stamping in the white spaces, stamping over the bubbles, wherever. Just add the splashes. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. Um, then I'm going to bring my black back in here, make sure this is the right size. Yep, we're going to put this on our black layer. And that black just really makes this pop. It makes everything pop. Black is like my popping color. Okay, Marsha asked, does the Grapefruit Grove foil look that colorful? Okay, so Marsha, the Grapefruit Grove foil is actually a peachy color, and it's somewhat iridescent. And let me see if I can, I don't know. I don't know what it's looking like in the camera right now, but it is incredibly beautiful. And it does do that kind of iridescent thing that makes it so gorgeous. It's crazy beautiful. Um, okay, next. We are going to take our Grapefruit Grove card base, fold that in half. I can get it folded, right? Okay, then we're gonna put this on the front. Just like this. Oh, I folded it crooked. Are you kidding me? 
See, look how crooked it is. I knew I should have moved this out of the way. So let me see if I can force it straight now. I hate it when that happens. And I do it sometimes a lot. So if you just kind of manipulate it and push it, that is so much... Oh, look at what I did to the front. <laughs> Hang on. We have a disaster going on here. And this, my friends, is why I do not use a ton of glue or those big tape guns that I call terrorist tape guns because you can't tear stuff apart like this. And I successfully saved the front of this card. So I love my liquid glue. And I don't use a ton of it because my card is not gonna fall apart. But yet, if I have to get it apart, I can. Okay, I'm gonna try this just a little bit more. I really jacked this up. That's my favorite word, jacked it up. Okay, that looks better. All right, now. I'm gonna bring in my big butterflies. This is the thick one. And I'm going to just add, oh, I see a piece that didn't come out right there. Everything else, oh, there's one more. Okay. I'm gonna come in here with some glue just around the outside of my butterflies. And you can cut these all apart and you know, put them wherever you want, use them that way, or you can leave this all in one big butterfly. And again, because I know some of you are probably going, what was that called? Because I know you have to have it, right? <laughs> it's called the Butterfly Beauty Thinlets, and they are gorgeous. Now you wanna make sure that all your butterflies are within the limits of the edge of your card so that it'll fit in an envelope. You have to be careful of that. Notice that this one goes over the white edge and the black edge, that's fine, that just draws interest, but you wanna make sure that it's gonna fit in an envelope. All right, so this is pretty, okay? <laughs> but wait till we add this, cause this is just killer. It is so gorgeous. And this is a very easy card to make once you get your things die cut and you saw how easy they were, right? wasn't hard to die cut this at all. I'm just going to, again, I could get out my silicone mat and my sponge, but I'm just being kind of lazy. And I do see a couple little bits there. Okay, I think I got all the little bits out. I got the glue on, and now you're just going to lay this directly over the butterflies in the black. And look at how very simple that happens. <gasps> oh my gosh! Show me some love. I'm waiting for some love. <laughs> oh, spaghetti sounds good, Leanne. One more thing I need to do here to the front. And that is... I'm going to use, thank you guys. I, I'm getting all the hearts now. You're showing me the love. Um, Terry wants the Rams to win. Well, I want the Rams to win for you. Yay. You know what's funny? There's a lot of um, Tom Brady haters. And I don't, I don't understand because I don't follow Tom Brady. I follow Aaron Rodgers because he's our quarterback. But yeah, there's a lot of Tom Brady not fans. Okay, this little hello... And then I'm going to do the little um, sprinkles, and I'm just going to stamp off once and then put those right over the hello. And I'll, I'll give you a close-up of this in just a second. So I'm going to trim this off. I told you you just need a little piece of that. This is a half an inch wide, and this is actually left over after I take an 8.5 by 11 piece of Whisper White and cut it. Um, all four pieces, four by five and a quarter. Then you have this half inch piece left over. And I save these because I use them for banners on my cards. They work really good. Then you're not cutting up good paper to do it, right? Because, gosh, everybody knows we're hoarding paper. <laughs> we don't want to cut a brand new sheet for a half inch little banner. And I've got my mini dimensionals here. And I just wanted a little tiny greeting for the front of my card. And I'm gonna put that right here. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, I love this. 
This is just so pretty. Oh, I said I'd make that really close so you could see it, right? Okay. Um, inside. This is what I want to do to the inside. I'm going to get my black out. And all these words come in the stamp set. I didn't use any other stamp sets with this. So you can get this bundle and just make a ton of cards. A friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. And isn't that a pretty font? I really like that. And then I'm going to take this little butterfly and I'm going to stamp that right in the middle there. I thought that was appropriately pretty. And we're going to put, oops, I didn't get any glue up here at the top. There we go. Move that out of the way so I don't stick my card in it. Because after all of this beautifulness, we don't want to wreck it now, right? Oh, and Pat says this is the first thing she ordered. Yeah, Janet. Janet says, um, this is now on my list. You're welcome. I mean, I, I aim to please. <laughs> Don't forget the foil sheets, though. You need the bundle, but you must get the foil sheets. They are so incredibly beautiful. There's our card. And then, of course, with a beautiful card like this, it would sure be a shame if we did not do something really pretty to this envelope flap. So let's do it. And we're just going to make this be so gorgeous. How about some little pokey dots? We don't need many of these. I just kind of fill in the areas. And then the little sprinkles. Ready? And then the heavens opened and the angels sang. Look at that. <gasps> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about something. Um, I want to talk to you about these new cling stamps. I think it's really important that you are on board with this before you have any disasters. Now, this, is a, this was a brand new stamp set. And I'll bring all the cards back out in just a minute. But this is a brand new stamp set. And I want you to know a few things about this. Um, I've seen some people online that are being kind of stupid with these. And I know that's a really harsh word, but I just, I don't have any respect for somebody who whines and complains about stuff. Um, so, these labels are called cling labels and they are super super sticky so here's a few tips for you brand new you're gonna peel the backing off of this and this could really save you a lot of frustration so I, I hope you hang with me because I do have some really good tips then you've got a slit this is the little party hat you're gonna pop this off and pop this off one tip I have for you here is if you happen to drop this onto your party hat sticker, do not attempt to try to take it off. Even if you drop it on here like this, you will destroy your stamp because these are so sticky. You just have to let it go and not have a label on it and just trim around it. You cannot reposition these. It doesn't work. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to have this happen to you. Um, but if it does, you're just gonna have to let it go. So we are going to add our stamp to our sticker. Okay, once you do that, it'll peel off this paper. These are super duper sticky, right? Do not set this down on a piece of paper because it will stick to the paper and when you pick it up, it'll go and you will have a layer of paper that tore off of here and ends up on here and that is another little disaster. I don't believe there's anything you can do to fix that. So I want you to be aware of that. The other thing I want you to be aware of, and I did a whole video on this, but I just want people to be happy with these. I love them, but you need to know a few things. Now, this is my take your pick tool. Um, I have acrylic nails and they're really thick, so I can't like pick things up. You guys will see me slide stuff off my desk a lot because I can't get a hold of it. Um, if you have nice thin fingernails, when you go to take these stamps off the block, you're going to get your fingernail under that label before you pull it up. 
If you can't do that with your fingernail, or maybe you don't have any fingernails, you are going to take something like this, a butter knife, the Take Your Pick tool works great. You're gonna slide it under the label, and then you're going to peel this off, okay? Um, so I watched some demonstrator online who had a big stamp and she stuck it to the block and then she grabbed it and ripped it up and it ripped in the foam. It ripped. And I thought, my Lord, why would you do that? Like, that's just dumb. Don't be dumb. <laughs> Have some respect for your cling stamps. These stick to the blocks and I am now putting labels on my stamps and I absolutely love them. But you do need to be careful with them. And I've also had where I left some stamps on my blocks for two months. They were fine. Put the tool under there, get the edge going, peeled them off, they come off fine. How do I store them? I leave them right here in the case and I push them right down. That was another thing. Somebody said, you can't do that anymore. Yes, you can. People need to just relax a little bit. <laughs> they get on their high horse and think they know everything. I did a lot of my own research, meaning I left stamps on a block for two months to see what would happen. They're fine. I stuck them in here and left them sit on a shelf for uh, two months, and they're, they're fine. They come right out, no problem at all. So I just wanted you guys to get those tips on these new cling stamps. They're fantastic. I absolutely love them. I have no more stamps falling off of blocks in the middle of a project ruining my beautiful creations, right? Okay, so again, please share my video. I really appreciate it. That really helps me out. We've got our gorgeous butterfly card here. And then we've got a super fun birthday card using the foil and another super fun birthday card using the, um, the framelits that are so cute. Cute little envelope here to go with that. If you would like to place an order, please use this host code. Um, you, will, you will get special perks with me when you do that. Each month I um, put everybody's name in a drawing that uses the host code and I'm, I have a drawing for a stamp set of your choice. So somebody wins every single month. And I know some people go, I never win anything. Well, I will prove you wrong at some point because you'll win. <laughs> Make sure you use the host code when you place your order. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code. I will still give you the special perks, but you're going to get your own rewards from Stampin' Up. And if you have an order that's over $100, you need to buy the discount shopper kit where you pay $99, no shipping, and get $175 product of your choice, anything you want. The only thing you can't do is get the celebration items because this isn't an order. It's a kit, and it has some different... It just doesn't qualify for more free stuff. You're already getting $75 worth of free stuff when you buy that kit. Does anybody have any questions for me? I am watching my um, comments come in. Don't leave these stamps on the blog too long because they will be much... No, that's not true. I, and I just said that it wasn't true. You can leave these stamps on the blocks. I left them on there for two months and they're fine. Um, Linda says, then why don't they do that when stuck to the box for a long time? Because the box is plastic. It's plastic. They don't stick very well to it to begin with. They stick much better to our acrylic blocks, okay? They stick on here really good. They don't stick that great to the plastic because we don't use plastic blocks. We use acrylic blocks. Um, and you can leave them on for a long time, but just, you know, be smart when you go to take them off. Don't try to rip them off without getting underneath that label with something nice and flat like this. That's what you need to do. Um, okay, Pat. Pat says, I wish I could get my old labels to stick like these. I will have a Wednesday tip video that's going to show you exactly how to do that. Um, you're going to love it. So make sure you're watching those. And does anybody have any questions that I missed? I'm, I'm watching closely now so that I can make sure I'm answering everybody. Don't forget to click on that share button. I really appreciate that. Um, I really appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business and, and keeps me being able to bring you these 
free Sunday night stamping classes. When you place orders, that pays my bills. I can keep doing free stamping classes, and I love them. Love, love, love them. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maggie. Um, you guys are all very welcome. Everybody's saying thank you for the tips, and they love all the cards, and I so appreciate that. I had a lot of fun making these. I whipped these all up this afternoon after my team meeting. Um, buy that discount shopper kit. Be a part of my team. You will absolutely love it. I guarantee it. It's a lot of fun. All right. I think I'm going to sign off so I can go see what Steve made for supper because I am very hungry. <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a great week. Um, check out my blog hop tomorrow, Color Fusers Blog Hop. And we are being challenged to use five different colors in our cards. So I'm going to be working on that after I eat something. And Wednesday's tip video is a good one. Make sure you check back for that. I will have all the information for these cards on my blog on Tuesday along with the video. If you'd like to rewatch it, it's easy to find there. I will put the dimensions on the Facebook <clears throat> Live above in the description so you have those as soon as I grab something to eat. And Feature Friday, remember I'm releasing that um, floral romance online class on Friday, so you'll have a good video there too. You guys are so welcome. I just love your generosity, and thank you so much for spending your Sunday evening with me. It, just really touches my heart, and um, I'm very, very appreciative. Have a great week. Bye-bye.